Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, send blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah to bless every single one of us and grant us goodness. Beloved youth, the first piece of advice I have for you is the advice that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has delivered to us all and that is taqwa Allah. If we are to be conscious of Allah, conscious of our duty unto Allah, the do's and don'ts, and we ourselves strive to abstain from prohibition and to fulfill the instruction of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it becomes much easier for us to deliver the message with a lot of passion. Whereas if we ourselves are not too regular with our prayers or not too uh, fulfilling of the duties that Allah has placed on our shoulders, it becomes more difficult for us to convey that message in a convincing manner. Secondly, respect yourself, respect everyone around you, respect the fact that you are a Muslim and understand that those who are around you are always in search of goodness and the human mind is extremely inquisitive. So if you keep trying in a very polite way and if you are a person who has wisdom and tact and you understand the norms of the people and you abstain from insulting others, inshallah, it will have a greater impact than if you were to just go out and swear people, insult them, belittle them, make them feel like they are very, very far out of the fold of Islam sometimes, yet they are trying. There is another piece of advice that I wish to deliver and that is the importance of the scholars of Islam. If we are to visit the scholars of Islam who are promoting the truth once in a while and learn from them, I think inshallah people will notice whom we are affiliated to in a greater way and that itself would also be a means of da'wah. What this would mean is if we are to affiliate with the correct people as far as possible, and even if we have had meetings perhaps or we have had associations with those who may not be up to scratch according to what we would believe, uh, we would still be able to clarify such matters and we would still be able to leave a straight line and inshallah a message that will be loud and clear. Why I say this is because as we progress in life, people look to us, they see what we do, they see who we mix with, they see how we associate and they learn a lesson from it. So. That association is extremely important. As we grow, we may have to associate with those sometimes uh, who may be searching for the truth in a way that if we mixed with them, it would help them. This is another level on its own. But we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us wisdom, to grant us tact. Remember, I have said this many times and I say it again. Go through the seerah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and study the way he treated the others, the way he spread the message, the way the da'wah at that particular time was delivered, that was the most pristine way, that was the best way. If we are to follow his system and his style and understand what he did, by the will of Allah, we will become better people. The last piece I leave you with is always improve yourself. Don't ever think for a moment, I know everything. Don't be a person who cannot accept correction or who cannot accept some form of rectification. It's important for us to know we will be corrected. We will have to correct ourselves no matter what level you are on. We will learn new things. We must be on the lookout. We must be searching, hunting and making an effort to learn more and to learn new things, to increase our knowledge. And this is why we always say, Oh, you who has bestowed Ibrahim with knowledge, bestow me with knowledge. Oh, you who has bestowed Suleiman with the understanding, bestow me with understanding as well. And may Allah help us to convey it in a way that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam has conveyed it. Humbleness and humility is paramount. We ask Allah to bless us all. Jazakumullahu khaira. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.